That's what a lot of you guys are battling right now. You have problems with women because you've watched your mom do some horse shit and you can never get over it. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world. When you're getting it like that, you can pick out a girl. When you chase your own dreams, you can become a squirrel. As many as you want to stream here. Alright, look, man. Why are men simps? Answer the question. It's because they don't got a dad, bro. What? They don't got a dad. If you don't got a dad, you probably a simp. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Get a dad. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notifications button. And go ahead and leave a comment and tell me exactly what you think about this video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel and you want the music to the intro, go to my homepage. All right, today we're going to be talking about why do men simp for female attention? All right. Why do they beg to be desired by women? All right. And I think that this is one of the main things that we need to talk about today in order to get down to the core of what men are actually going through. Let's get to it. First, it's going to come down to insecurities. Why do men feel insecure? This is why most of you feel insecure. It's because of what society has placed as the norm for what women want. In other words, you don't know if you have enough muscle. You don't know if you're good looking. You don't know if you're rich enough. You don't know what you have to do to actually please to a woman because a woman always has different standards day to day to day. Most women don't know what they want. You know, a woman would tell you when she's not in a relationship that she wants a good guy who's going to treat her good, sweep her off her feet and do all these nice things. But when she actually gets a man like that, she's always desired for the wrong type of guy. So a lot of men, you have tried your hardest to be the best, but you found that it doesn't work because women always settle for less. That's what has a lot of you guys insecure because you're noticing they're going towards the guy that does the complete opposite. But you don't know how to be the guy that's the complete opposite. You don't know how to be the a-hole. You don't know how to be the red pill. So it leaves you in a state of confusion where you do not know what to do to appease her to make her feel good. But you know the only thing that you could do really good is be the nice guy and that's typically where you're gonna lose next you think women are better than you why do you think women are better than you it's simple you've been around your aunties your cousins and your grandmas too much you've been around those family members too much and that's what's crutching you right now and the reason why it's crutching you right now is because they've made every man in the world look like a bad guy and have convinced you that you're the greatest guy in the world that's what has happened the same women that have placed you onto a pedestal are the same women that have actually crutched you to the point where they've made Men look like they're so low and that they are so valuable. All right. When you hang around women and you're around women too long that are not interested into you, then you're going to develop their mindset. You're going to develop their sensitivity. You have to look at it in perspective of like babies. When you put a group of babies in a ring together, if one baby starts crying, then all the babies start crying because of the shared energy. That's what it's like when you're a male hanging around a group of females all the time. You're eventually finding yourself having the same hormonal changes and the same changes as her. So you develop a feminine mindset and you start to say, men are dogs, men are pigs. This is why women are acting like this because you guys are out here acting bad you've placed them onto a pedestal and this is one of the main reasons why you seek desirement is because you actually think that being around women and getting validations from women is good but think about it your mom your auntie your 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 your, your cousins Every woman that has no sexual desire to you has told you that you're a nice guy and deserve a good woman but good women are not approaching you 
Next, you don't know what to do with yourself. That's one of the big problems that a lot of you guys have. You don't know what to do with yourself. You know how to go out and get a job. You know how to work a nine to five. And then when you're not working your job, you spend your time maybe going to the gym or on the internet or what most people do, searching and trying to figure out love. All right, that's the problem that you're having right there. That's why you need female validation. It's because you have nothing else to distract you. So you think, all right, my life is so boring. I need to be busy. What do I need to be busy doing? If I had a wife, I'll have something to do. If I had kids, I'll have something to do. No, when you're not working your nine to five, you need to be somewhere trying to figure out how you gonna keep from working this nine to five and you can go work on your own. So you don't think about that. You put more thoughts and power into a woman and finding love because everyone has told you that you're a good guy that have love because you don't know how to be the a-hole so you thinking i'm this perfect guy that's holding in all this good stuff and i can't wait to give it to a woman so you're seeking her validation because you think she gonna see the inner core of you and just fall in love but the more you think like that the more she does the complete opposite next your relationship with your mom is bad all right, most of you guys out there that do not have a good relationship with your mom and you argue with your mom and you blame your mom for for the way that your life is, a lot of you are going to do that. And that's going to be one of your main problems that you have when it comes to dating. It's because you're actually looking for love validation from a woman that you did not get from your mom or that you felt that your mom didn't get do good enough at doing that's where a lot of you guys have problems. This is why you have such a big hatred for like single mothers. It's because you come from that background of a single mom telling you what you want to hear while weakening you at the same time. So now you get to a point in your life where you're confused about everything. And that's the problem. The problem is the single mother that you came from. Your mom is the problem. She either overloved you to the point where you didn't see anything in reality or she didn't love you enough and you've heard her get banged out by random guys at night. You probably done had 17 stepdads. If you have, if your mom is a rolling stone, right? And you done seen a lot of guys coming in and out of the house, you're gonna have a lot of bad relationship problems because you've lost respect for your mom. The love that she was giving you feels fake because you think she's a whore. That's what a lot of you guys are battling right now. You have problems with women because you've watched your mom do some whore shit and you can never get over it. This is Anthony Spade, man. I gotta start, I'm, I'm trying to make these videos longer and better for y'all. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button, but I got more of this content coming. Hopefully you guys are able to understand why simp men are always needy for a woman's attention. Hasta la vista.